So next I'll add time dependent material properties for my superstructure concrete. So I'll go to properties tab and click on creep and shrinkage. I'll click on add. So here I'll give the name as C40 C and S. Some name. I'll select C B F I P ninety I'll give this as forty thousand. And I'll assume seventy percent relative humidity. I'll give the notional size as one meter. I'll select normal cement and click on show results. So this is the graph for the creep coefficient versus time. So you can copy this and check the creep coefficient. The software has calculated for this start and end loading. So I'll click close. So then I'll click apply. So this would be added to the list. I'll click cancel close. Next I'll add the compressive strength variation of the concrete. I'll click add. Give the name as C40 comp. Select the code as C V F P ninety ninety. According to it, F C K plus delta F we need to give its mean compressive strength, not the characteristic strength. So I'll give forty thousand plus ten thousand, which is forty MPa plus ten MPa. Ten is ten MPa would be my standard deviation. Uh, that is delta F. So I'll click redraw graph. This would be my compressive strength variation. So I'll click OK. Click close. So now you can see whatever we have done till now would be automatically recorded in the works tab. So you can see we have defined four material properties: the basic material C40 for my superstructure, C30 substructure, tunnel material property, and the dummy material property, and then the time-dependent material property for creep and shrinkage. And for the compressive strength variation, and then these are all the sections that we have defined. So now we'll uh, uh, click on material link. What we're going to do is we'll link this time dependent material properties to our basic material, our superstructure material, so that the software will know that uh, to simulate the time dependent effects, it will start taking this uh, material properties when required. So the all the elastic modulus change, everything would be updated based on this curve. So I'll click on material link. I'll select the creep and shrinkage time dependent property that we have defined C40 C and S compressed strength C40 comp. I'll select the basic material to which I need to link this time dependent material property. So I'll double click this. So it's got selected. I'll click on add. Click close. So this is the link between these two material properties.